Clinch clinches a bowl game and avenges four losses in a row. The Huskers have lost two in a row since getting to five wins. Tel Evans' Kevin Suits has more on how the turnovers prove costly versus the Terrapins. Purdy in the gun. The team with the most turnovers in college football had five more on Saturday, and the fifth was the most costly. Left pass intercepted at the goal line. An intercepted pass thrown by Chubba Purdy with the Huskers on the brink of taking the lead against the Terrapins. Instead, the pick leads to points. Snap down. And a walk-off win for Maryland, which denies Nebraska bowl eligibility for the second straight week. On that play, we're trying to win the game. You know, we're trying to, trying to you think a corner route's going to either be incomplete or you know they kick a field goal. So um, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know that you can, I don't know that you can um, do anything else on that. The Huskers had the ball five yards from the end zone, and a field goal also would have given the Huskers the lead. Many questioned the decision to throw a pass in that situation with a third-string quarterback who had thrown the ball just four times this season prior to the play. I know the guys in our locker room are, are pretty upset, pretty hurt right now. And uh, uh, as I told them, uh, the things that cause winning and losing, it's not this, um, you know, mysterious thing out there. It's winning the turnover battle, you know, fourth quarter shutouts, all the different things that we were not able to do tonight. The crowd and Nebraska's sideline was stunned and deflated following the fourth quarter momentum flip. The outcome takes away from a day where Emmett Johnson rushed for nearly five yards per carry. Nebraska was penalized just once and the defense kept Maryland out of the end zone nearly the entire game. However, the Black Strips allowed a 12 play 75 yard drive in the closing minutes, which set up the game winning field goal. Every loss is definitely frustrating. So at the same time, like we still got games. We still could be bowl eligible. I'm disappointed. Um, you know, it's not what we wanted, but great thing about football is we get to come back tomorrow and look at the film and be able to correct uh, the mistakes. The Huskers played three quarterbacks against Maryland and each had at least one turnover. That includes the starter Heinrich Harburg, who left the game in the first half with an ankle injury. Head coach Matt Rule says Harburg was cleared to play in the second half, but the coaching staff opted to keep him on the sideline, saying Harburg just wasn't quite right. Following the game, he limped off the field after an embrace from teammate Nick Henrich. Covering the Huskers at Memorial Stadium, Kevin Suits, 10 11 Sports. Thank you, Kevin. Here's a look at how the team stacked up while an offense gave the ball away five times. The Blackshirts had a big second half, forcing three Maryland turnovers. Tonga Vailoa, the conference leading passer, found success today against depleted Husker secondary without Deshaun Singleton and Quentin Newsom. Jeff Sims finished with the most yards out of the three Husker quarterbacks. On the ground, Emmett Johnson ran well, just under five yards a carry on 17 attempts. Maryland's Roman Hemby with a solid day. Through the air, Maryland dominated. Billy Kemp the fourth, though, the leading Husker, his 30 yards eclipsed him over 2,000 yards in his career. Overall, Nebraska, not one, not two, but five turnovers lead to the loss. With only two games left on the schedule, the bowl window is closing. I'll have more later in sports.